Hi, in this lesson, we're going to explore animation in A-Frame. So far, we've created worlds in A-Frame using basic shapes, but these shapes are stationary. A-Frame allows us to put objects in motion using the animation attribute. With this attribute, we can do several different kinds of animation, and in this lesson, we're going to begin exploring these options. Here's an example that moves this box up and down continuously. Notice how the animation attribute is part of the A box opening tag in a way that is similar to other attributes that we have seen. The parameters of this attribute are still inside a set of double quotes, but in this case we have several parameters to set. While the animation attribute is similar to other attributes, inside the double quotes we have a lot more information that we need to include. Each parameter inside the quote specifies a property and a value. Properties and values are separated by a colon, and then each parameter is separated by a semicolon. Okay, let's take a closer look at the actual parameters that we are using here. The first three are gonna be common for nearly all animations. The first property tells A-Frame what it is that we're gonna change. In this case, we're changing the position of the object. The from property tells A-Frame where the animation starts, and the to property tells A-Frame where the animation ends. We also have two additional properties here related to having the object continue to animate. We'll get into more of these details a little later. Let's take a look at how we can create our first animation. In this case, we're gonna animate the position of our object. We need to specify three different properties to make this happen. The first property we're gonna specify is the property property. This property specifies what it is that we're gonna animate. And so again, in this case, it's position. The second property we're going to specify is the from property. Since we are animating position, we specify the starting position. Oftentimes, this will be the same as the position that is specified when we created the object. The final property that we're gonna set is the to position. This specifies the value that the object will end at. Again, since we're animating position, the from and the to are positions. If we were animating something else such as color, the from and to would be colors. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this in the editor. Okay, so we are gonna now look at how we can animate a cube sliding across the screen. So if I run it now, we'll see that we have a blue box that is not really doing anything, it's just sitting there. And we wanna add an animation. So again, I'm gonna go inside of my A box opening tag and I'm gonna add another attribute called animation. Okay, so I'm gonna say animation equals, and then I put everything inside of my quotes. But again, to kind of help see it a little bit better, I'm gonna split my quotes up there. So we need to specify three different properties. The first one is actually just property, and we need to tell it what we are gonna animate. So we're gonna, in this case, animate position. Okay, so we specify position and we put a semicolon after it. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is where we start from. And typically, we're gonna start from the position that we specified earlier. So in this case, we specified negative 8, 1.5, and 10, and we're going to do the same thing here, negative 8, 1.5, and negative 10. Okay, and finally, we want to specify where we're going to, and in this case, we're going to go straight to the right, so we're going to change our x position and not make any changes to our y or z positions. So we're going to go from negative 8 to positive 8, keeping the 1.5 and the negative 10. All right, so let's see what we have. Okay, so now we have a cube that slides over once and it's done. Okay, we could also change this up. Say we wanted to slide backwards. We can leave our X the same and we can start at negative 10, zero, and we're gonna slide back to negative 20. Okay, so now let's try this and there our box goes backwards. And that's it. So now your turn to play around with this.